tonight and through tomorrow, we are expecting rain and even thunderstorms. Well, Jackson is now under a flash flood watch, and one neighborhood is concerned that conditions on their roads could cause water to go into their homes. 12 News' Alex DeLove joins us now in the studio with the details. Alex? Yes, the two women I talked to, one who wishes to remain anonymous, have lived off Pecan Boulevard for over 40 years. But in the last two, they have seen their road and properties engulfed when it storms, and it, they point to backed up drain pipes as the problem. Welcome towards the John R. Lynch Street intersection. As you turn right, onto Pecan, start, start, start. you can see the first couple okay, of street okay. drains jammed full with debris and dirt. It is solid, packed with dirt. So you tell me. Where is the water going to run to? It's going to flood people's houses. It's hard to walk out there, and even in the backyard, it's too watery and muddy to go back there. Earlier this year, one of the ladies recorded the moment water took over her yard and entered her home, ruining her entire first floor. The carpet, the padding, everything. So we cannot replace it until the city fixes this problem. It will make no sense to spend money for it to flood again. She claims they've made numerous calls to city maintenance to unclog the street drains and filled out request forms, but have yet to receive a response, leaving herself and 85-year-old mother at risk. She saw it coming in the front door and the back door, and um, all she could do was just go and sit in her deceased husband's recliner, and all she did was cry. As we moved further down Pecan Boulevard, other drains appeared on the surface to be cleared, but the Frierson household still claims to experience bad flooding. It's just, uh, so high, you can't use, you can't go down the steps to the yard. You have to use the driveway. We reached out to the Jackson Public Works Department, who responded with a statement saying, quote, the Department of Public Works continues to clean storm drains reported by citizens within the 311 system. The Department of Public Works will monitor the weather tomorrow and advise traveling motorists to stay away from low-line areas that may be prone to flooding. If any citizens want to report a flooded roadway, please have them contact the city's 311 hotline, end quote. In the midst of all this, both ladies told us they're still charged sewer fees, which come out of their Social Security funds, money they believe isn't put to, its, to good use when you look at the condition of the drains. 